Hello viewers, welcome to the second edition of this new video. I want you to um, watch this video, this wonderful video, and find out what happened and what he has to say. Thank you. Go and ensure that there was salvation. We knew it, it, there was no reversal of the process, but we can still do something. That's somebody that will not accept preaching, and God prolonged his life in that affliction until he was broken. And then we say, will you accept prayer in Jesus? At first, he said, Is he not a human being that, that dies? Uh, when, when the team. <laughs> said, that prayer is still there. He said, That's what I need now. That, I need that kind of prayer. Uh, we knew there was no, we couldn't reverse the process, but we, something can still be done. A spirit is involved. You wake up, go to work, and you are there until you are afflicted. It means you are alone. But when the spirit is involved, you are alerted. You are told that it's time for battle. There are several times you are not allowed to go out. He said, when this kind of a thing happens, you secure the oppression of the spirit. This was the principle that was responsible for the revival in the book of Acts of the Apostles. They continued steadfastly in prayers in teaching in practicing the brotherhood in breaking of bread and they continue then the feedback began to come let's check the feedback Acts 2 it will start coming gradually but don't get distracted with the gradual feedback Acts 2 42 don't get distracted because it's going to begin to increase in momentum. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking up bread and in prayers. Next verse. Feedback. And fear came upon every soul. Fear. A revelation of the awesome holiness of God began to invade the soul. Some of the reasons why you can lie and go and you, you don't even feel it is because you, you are not, you don't sustain the consciousness of God. And that's not what you can do in the flesh. As you begin to oppress into God, one of the first things that will come to you is the fear of God. You notice that scripture that I read in the book of Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10? It said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I, I like my translation. What does my translation say? My translation says, The reverence of the Lord is but the beginning of wisdom, but the full knowledge of all the Holy One's ways is complete understanding. So the first thing that you encounter when you begin to deal with this immortal personality is that he imparts his fear. I don't have time to take you to the book of Proverbs to show you um, um, the path of spiritual progress. Because the book of Proverbs is a path. That's what it is. The whole book it's showing you a path. It's a pathway for wise people. It's a pathway that is prescribed by all that must be wise. All right. And the first point on that pathway is the fear, fear of God. That is the beginning of of wisdom. That's the beginning of the path of the wise. And that's the thing that happened here. Fear came upon them. The fear of God. The reverence of God. A revelation of God's holiness, his pureness. How that God will do what he says. How that God means what he says and he says what he means. That knowledge and that consciousness so that you know you'll be conscious of the field that you are, you are doing business. It's a field of a God that is holy. A God that is righteous. And if he says root, this is what I will do. He will not change his mind because it's, he is the I am. That I am. You need that fear to be able to deal with him. You need that consciousness to work with him. Lest you trivialize something that he hates. So that fear has to be there for you to be sensitive to him. To be constrained by him. To be manipulated by him. You need that kind of disposition to do business in the realm that is calling us to participate. But you see, it is only when a spirit is involved that you are ushered into these chambers. 
It is possible for a believer to live without the fear of God. Alright? And he does all kinds of stuff. Now, there's no prayer we can pray that, you know, he say, lead us not into temptation. Hmm? But deliver us from evil. That prayer cannot totally exempt you from temptation. No. So temptation will come to you and to me. But the point is this. A man that has gotten into that economy where he's sensitive to God, if temptations come, even though you feel a pull, because of that fear of God, you are restrained, you are constrained. See, this constraining that I'm talking about is not, is not human. You are not with me. Hey. You have not seen dollars in Jim Tech's bag. New ones. He has a fragrance. He, that fragrance can choke your soul. <laughs> you have not seen it as bribe. In Jim Tech's bag. Are you with me? But if you have entered into the economy of this fear there will be an inner constraining it's not human no human being can survive that gym test bag I assure you oh when somebody comes and says they want to divert some 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 hundreds of thousands some millions of liters and move it to Benin Republic overnight you don't understand they'll bring a badge let me not tell you my work the night a batch can comfortably take five million ten million so they just and overnight they have reached Benin Republic the price is double and people are willing to pay so they pay and then they come back you are still discharging and then they come back with gym tax for allowing the operation to prosper When you open the gym text and you see it and don't inhale it, if you inhale it, the spirit that travels with it will negotiate with your soul. And then in the midst of that, you are there and something is constraining you. It's not human. A spirit is involved. Meanwhile, the people talking to you, eh, they are rugged. They are smuggled. They are rugged. And it will not even occur to you that they can drown you. You are the only one in the midst of 12 men. You say, I was born for one purpose. To bear witness to the truth. Them that hear the truth, listen to my voice. The case has finished. They, they say this is not a human being. It is true. A spirit. So he, he releases you into, into contact with the fear of God. And the fear of God can constrain the fear of God can hold you back. Hallelujah. You see, the fact that the pool affected you, the pool, doesn't mean you, 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 you are bad. Though. No, bro. You, the pool, you even go like this, the pool. You move. But as you are going, a spirit, he will bring you back. The spirit will make you understand how incapable you are as a man in the flesh. The devil knows the buttons to press to, to command compliance from your life. But what he no longer understands is the power of that spirit that is involved. He said, when two or three are gathered because I called them, I will no longer be dormant. I will become active in their lives. And I will bring them into, or send them into the first pavilion. That's where they are sensitive to Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is no prayer we can pray here for all the ministers gathered that will say, women won't tempt you. There's no prayer. Meanwhile, uh, intercession, if you intercede very well, it attracts women. Ah. The only guarantee of your survival as you born like this, with this mighty witness, mighty, mighty utterance from God. Hey, is that what? A spirit. 
Now, see, he knows that you will become vulnerable in the process. So he said, I, I will be there by covenant. He said, covenant, I'll be there. He's not there as a spectator. He's there because every layer you are ushered into, there are infirmities in your humanity that will be on display that he will have to come and cover. Remember, you know, before you married, you there was a particular kind of sister I used to like. If it, for, it might be short one, I assure you, there are still short ones in town. Baba won't kill them because of you. I <laughs> am Some is some, some is light, light skin, <laughs> like the lilies. <laughs> Robena Yalakunda. There are still a lot of them around. And when you begin to burn with the intensity of, 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 of the fragrance of grace, suddenly your counseling list begins to become bloated. And then you discover that 90% of the people are lilies. <laughs> <laughs> glory now these are the things that some people were exposed to that the spirit was not involved that you heard the other story it's not that, that they didn't start where they started where but the spirit was not involved this practice will ensure that there is a guarantee that the spirit will always be involved He ushers you into the pavilion where the fear of God is. I don't have time to take you to the book of Proverbs to show you why the book was written. And then to show you what happens when you begin to seek God more than gold, more than silver. All of us are weak. It's the spirit that has kept us. Paul said, having, having, con yeah? he said, having received the grace of God, I have what? Continued until this day. It's not by power. And the earlier you know the unreliability of your flesh, the more you will cleave to the Holy Ghost. So there's a guarantee of the Spirit's help when consciously two or three of us make a pact to exercise ourselves under the government that is in the name of Jesus so that we will be there as an infrastructure to facilitate His agenda. We will be there to align with His will so that we become agencies through which his policy statements can prosper. He said, you are working for me. What are we doing in response to this, your work? Is that my spirit. He exposes us to the fear. There are many times in scripture where there were graphic revelations of the, of the God of heaven. But of all those times, uh, Revelation chapter 4 is the appearance of God. Um, Ezekiel chapter 1 is the manifestation of the glory of God, the mechanism of spirit technology, where you have the wheels and all of that, wheels within the wheels, the mechanism of spirit technology in glory. Uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 6, is a revelation of the holiness of God, the revelation of the holiness of God. It's that kind of a chamber you are brought into. When you start this protocol, the feedback, the first line of feedback that comes, the type that is Isaiah encountered in chapter 6 where you, you see the holiness of God is a revelation and after you have encountered that when you see something that is not it you will be constrained the story was told that night when I said I was born for one purpose to bear witness the story was I now got the feedback that when I was talking fear came upon the people I've been on vessels before that somebody got angry and broke bottle and wanted to kill somebody. And when I knew the person would kill that, that guy, I knew. So I just came to him by instruction and I touched him like this.